I'm in Eni's lobby, uh, and now I'm learning about Nico Robbins' background, and this was the first time I almost cried. On the Nico Robin background story, Nico Robin is an isolated, singled out child, which is like super basic for shonen, right? Like, oh, you're the monster, you're a monster, you know, that kind of thing. Like, that's like at the heart of Naruto as well, right? But like, for me, I saw a lot of myself in Nico Robin's backstory, a person who like basically hit the books throughout her childhood in an effort to escape the the immediate reality of being isolated socially. And when they're like blowing up the library, I literally almost cried. I was like, it reminded me of, and this is so whack to admit, it reminded me of Barnes and Nobles and Borders closing because as a young boy, anytime I came to America, I didn't have any fucking friends here. You know what I mean? I didn't grow up here. I would spend every single day inside of a Borders. There was a Seattle's Best Coffee in that Borders. I would go there every morning. I would get this like gigantic fucking Frappuccino milkshake coffee thing. And I would sit there and read every single comic book because I didn't have money to buy the comic books, right? So I would read it for free, which I could not comprehend why they had all these incredible, uh, why they had all these like comic books there. And I didn't have access to them in Turkey. Obviously, they didn't sell them in Turkey. So I would just sit there and read every single comic book and every single manga I could for the entire fucking day. So, you know, it literally felt like, uh, you know, borders closing felt like the same as the, that library being bombed. And it just made me real sad. Look up Library of Alexandria, super sad and disappointing story. Yeah, I mean, I know that that's what it's about, but I'm saying like I'm relating it to my own personal history. That's why they went out of business because of you? Maybe. Yeah, to be fair though, as much as I absolutely despise, you know, reading now, I, I did enjoy it at a certain point and I still enjoy it uh, from time to time. So if you don't cry in the next 30 epis, you're a cold, heartless, evil person. What age did you move to the United States? 18. But I'm saying this is when I was younger. And we would like, my, my mom would bring me out to America for like a month out of the summer or something. Anyway, so yeah, it's, it's a sad story, but I'm really invested in it. Uh, it's only making me love Nico Robin more. Nico Robin, as you guys know, is best girl for me. Um, only one and only. Definitely. I, I, I am a bigger fan of Nico than I am of Nami. And Nami's great too, but she is best girl. And... Her backstory is only making me feel more like she is best girl. So, she's dope. Robin, mom kind of bad, though. Oh, yeah. So is Robin, you know what I mean? It makes sense. Um, but, yeah, I'm in the flashback, which I think is great. Best Nico Robin outfit. Oh, this is a good one. Best Nico Robin outfit. Hard to pick. Definitely not that. Th nah, that's too much. Nope. I think it's the classic. It's this, dude. Especially, or with the cowboy hat. Yeah, this gif is correct. The cowboy hat Nico Robin outfit is so OP. It's crazy. Like in the beginning when she's uh when she's like always wearing the the cowboy shit, like when she was Miss Saturday or whatever or Miss All Day Sunday, whatever the fuck. God, 